Do you have any woods near your house when you were growing up? I did. Yes. A lot of woods. I lived on six acres. Nice. They were mostly woods. Yeah. And we went out back and built forts and yeah. cut our knees. Cut our knees. <laughs> it's like with knives. Just We <laughs> sat out there and just cut our knees to pieces. Yeah, what about I, you? Did you have woods? I did. I had the spooky woods, and then I also had the 40 acres of like tweaker country. It was like right across from the school I went to. But like my neighborhood had like its own little like border where there was woods that we could go into. Yeah. And if you went far enough, it went to like the, the other side of like the uh, the road, the other intersecting roads. Is that so, where all but, the homeless people slept? No, the homeless people slept in the 40, the 40 acres. Of, in like, the tweaker woods? Yeah, the tweaker. That was like more of like a valley. The woods were like where we'd go and build forts and... Uh, dude, it sucked too. We brought out like a bunch of woods there and like built like, like legitimate forts and came back and they were all destroyed. People just so, would break them. I put so much fucking effort into this. Dude. Like, <laughs> I was doing it to like, in, like, because I built like two bases and we were gonna like go out there and play like slingshot paintball and shit. And then like we got all excited. We all geared up going out there to do it. And we get there and all the fucking bases are just destroyed. And oh, like, that's I, shitty. We're like, dude, I thought you set these up and it just looked like I hadn't done anything. And I was like, these no. I was like, I did. Like they all got destroyed. <laughs> the homeless tweakers made me look lazy. Yeah, a bunch of assholes. <laughs> but I also like how like dickish they were about it. I was like, you guys, I spent up like fucking all day yesterday setting these up and we get there and like, oh, where are they? Like, I thought you were doing that. Yeah, what are like, you, you doing with you, your you life? You didn't even know about this until I said anything. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> the 40 tweaker woods. Yeah. Oh, dude, I, my neighborhood was fucking weird though. We had the most bonkers set of neighbors. Yeah. Uh, just a bunch of characters. Like, right at the very edge of our road, we had this, uh, I don't even, I don't know what the term is, but it was, it was a, like an old white guy who just had like no teeth, this hella redneck, and then his wife was just like this, uh, like a Thai boy. Like, a you know, Thai like, boy? Like, you know, like one of the Taiwan people that become a woman. Oh, so like, was, like, like transgender? Not trans, like, no, like, he, like she got the surgery, so she's like a woman now. Oh, but, gotcha. like, when they were first seeing each other, he was a guy. Okay. And then it became, like, a woman who got, like, breast implants and, like, the, the whatever you do to do that. And then the, the whatever the, like, you the do. The reverse penis thing. Um, but they, dude, the dude, the fucking old creep guy, he uh, he would always like come, he'd always be outside and we'd always be out there playing and he always come up and try to like t like talk to us but and like give us like advice on like shit <laughs> like he'd be building like a ramp for like bikes and he's like oh no dude this is how you do it so he was just always heavily involved like he wasn't like molester creepy he was just like I'm like he little, wouldn't leave yeah creepy. like he's like he wanted to like hang out with us <laughs> it, was, yeah. like, it wasn't like a, like a threatening thing but yeah but he was telling us about he he told me about his lady boy husband wife. And uh, he said that they fucking kept, like, that they cut off his dick and they, like, kept it. And at the time, what? And at the time I, like, believed it. And he's like, yeah, we have it in a jar down in the basement, so we always remember. I was like, always remember that you used to fuck a dude? Like, what do you, why do you have it still? Yeah, like, why would you need that and, as, like, evidence yeah, or something? And like, I mean, well, now that I'm, like, an adult, I'm, the surgery doesn't even work that way. Like, you still use the shaft. It just becomes, like, a canal. So, like, he totally just made that up. Like, you don't cut off your dick. They, like, invert it. Yeah. So, it was, like, he just said that they had a like, dick in a jar to, like, impress a bunch of eight-year-olds, I guess. Because <laughs> so people are totally <laughs> yeah, impressed by I keep that. a dick in a jar so I can impress all the eight-year-olds <laughs> I hang out and play around my house. Well, how many dicks do you have in your basement, John? It's like, well, none. Well, yeah, exactly. That's why eight-year-olds will hang out with you. <laughs> what, are you what are you talking about? What situation is this cool? I like how that would be his exact argument. <laughs> yeah, you but know? it's like, well, how many dicks do you have? How many dicks, man? Yeah, I mean, you gotta tell me. Give that's me... why eight-year-olds hate you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe I need to collect more dicks. That's maybe why you're, you're not cool with the young kids, and I'm hip and awesome. Maybe that's why your wife left you, Tom. Maybe that's why. You don't have enough dicks in your basement. <laughs> but yeah, that was a... Uh, they were fun. Uh, <laughs> and it was funny, too, because, like... Uh, her, her name is Tatiana. It used to be Sean. Yeah. <laughs> it's Tatiana. That's a um, change. I know, right? Uh, but anytime, like, when my friends would come over, like, because I fairly, she looked good. Like, she was a good looking lady. Yeah. Okay. And she did, did really work out all the time and shit. And she was always, she would always be mowing the lawn. Always? <laughs> always and she would, it was like a, um, like gawk at me kind of thing, I think. Where uh -oh. she like wanted people to look at her because she'd always be in like her booty shorts and tank top and just like cleavage out, just mowing the lawn like three times a week. And just, there's just there's just no lawn yeah, left. Yeah, she's she just, just she's out there mowing the dirt. Yeah, it's just like take it's like having a bald head and still trying to get a haircut. Like, yeah. that's what she was doing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, all my friends come over, like, dude, that chick is so fucking hot, and I always go along with them, like, yeah, dude, like, what would, you should tell her that. Like, you should go like, and be like, dude, you're hot, and she'd be like. <sighs> you and then like i'd let it go for a while and be like 
That was a dude. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I was like, he said that was he used to have a dick. <laughs> what? No, he didn't. She look at her. She's fucking hot. And I was like, yeah, he was a dude. <laughs> Always. And they like, oh my god, what the fuck? They never would believe me. And I'm like, dude, yeah. I was like, asked my mom. I was like, what? I was like, is Tatiana? Did she used to be Sean? He's like, yeah. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, question their sanity for a moment. They're like, oh my god, do I like dudes? I'm like, well, that's not what that means, but. You can think that. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it was always fun. Just just awaken their inner homosexuality. Yeah, they're like, well, It's like, oh my god. Maybe I want to be a lady. I do like guys. That look kind of fun. I want to do that. <laughs> I would love to invert my penis as well. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, well, so since we're speaking about childhood stuff and neighborhoods and whatnot, <clears throat> I had this, uh, there's this house right across from me, and it was like one of those military houses where people would like come and go, you know, often because the military families would move in. It was like kind of like one of those yeah, yeah. like halfway houses for that. Um, so we had, I, you know, I had like a really young childhood friend there, and then they moved out, and there was this one family that moved in after them. Uh, they were from like Hawaii, like the, the mom was like Hawaiian and the dad was really white. Yeah. Uh, but he was like one of those surfer dudes that like still looked like he was a surfer when he was 50. Gotcha. Um, have you seen Rocket Power? Uh, yes. Like the dad. Like, like, gotcha. Yeah, like that. That was like her neighbor. That's and then uh, they had, I don't, they, I know they had two kids, but I genuinely don't remember what the other one was. But there was the one kid, he was younger, his name was Cody. And uh, he's just this little fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> he, like, we always, hung, we always try to hang out because, like, it was, oh, a new kid in the neighborhood, and you know, we try to hang out with him. But he was fucking, like, mentally insane. Like, anytime we would hang out, like, and, just like, psycho. Like, yeah, and he didn't get his way. Like, he would literally threaten to kill us with, like, whatever he had. Oh, God. And it, it happened often. He's, it started with our friend Marcus, and then it continued with him for a while. But any, like, we hung out the first time, and he picked up a golf club because we were playing golf in our backyard like yeah. we had like torn down a pool and made it into a ramp and we're playing, oh, that's like, tight. this extreme golf that we invented it was really cool yeah we we're playing that but he was getting like his ass beat and marcus was just roasting him about it <laughs> and he like flipped out he's like say it again he's like fucking say it again he's like you suck at golf <laughs> and then he's just like lost his shit and he's like i'm gonna kill you i'm gonna fuck and he like grabbed the fucking the club and was like trying to go after him and marcus he was the older friend he was probably like 15 when we were like nine so yeah. he was cl clearly superior in that department and so he, pr he, pr he like went to swing and he just like grabbed it because he's like what are you doing and then he and then he threw it at him and like tried to hit him and was just yelling i'm gonna kill you and then he went home and uh the next day he was like hey you guys want to hang out <laughs> just like just like nothing yeah, happened no, yeah, yeah that's why i was saying he was like insane because he didn't just like have anger issues he was like it, yeah, nothing happened. That wasn't anything. And it happened uh, three separate times. It was with the golf club, it was with a hammer, and with a tennis ball. It was my favorite one. We picked up a tennis ball and said, I'm going to fucking kill you with this tennis ball, and then threw it out <laughs> like it was oh going to kill him. Yeah, with a tennis uh, ball. With a tennis ball. Wow. And uh, I remember one time I, he I, he came over to my house and I let him like, stay the night because he'd never stayed the night at anyone's house before, and I felt bad. And he was still kind of. That was he, a big mistake. He, well, he was still kind of like the friend. It wasn't that bad. He was just really, really annoying. And while he was over there, um, like, I gave him a Pop-Tart just because, like, you know, we were kids and that's what we did. Right. But I didn't know that he was one of those I think he had really bad ADHD. Oh, and, no. And he wasn't allowed to have sugar, and I didn't oh, know that. No. So we gave him, like, one of the most sugar, like, berry swirl Pop-Tarts, and he fucking would he just was a, he was up for, like, 12 fucking hours, Jeez. like, after that. And it was just the most obnoxious fuck. And uh, the next day, he, I, like, woke up. Like, he, he went home, and then uh, the day after that, so it was two days after the sleepover. He came over and walked into our house and gr was just like, hey, do you guys have any more Pop-Tarts? <laughs> it was like, like crack. Like, yeah, he like had a problem about it. He yeah, like, right. You guys, got, like, you guys got those Mary Pop-Tarts? He's just like scratching himself. And then my mom was out in the living room. She's like, what are you doing here? And he's like going through our pantry. He's like, the Pop-Tarts from the other day. Do you guys have any more of those? <laughs> to the pop tarts from the other day, <laughs> like it was an event. I know. It's like you remember the one time you it's gave like me that pop tart, dude. Those ever... were fucking sick, man. Where do you get those? <laughs> yeah. Like he had no idea what a pop tart was. I don't think he knew what all. sugar was. It was fucking insane to me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and then his mom came over. He's like, Cody, what are you doing? He's like, the pop tarts. And he, like they gave me the pop tarts. She's like, you gave my son pop tarts. She's like, all pissed. And I, my mom was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. And I came out. I'm like, what's going on? He's like, Austin, do you have any more pop tarts? He's like, I imagine this being about? like the most dramatic. Dude, just like a, yeah. screaming like I imagine the mom bursting through the door just like hair on fire you know <laughs> just, like she just got out of like a wreckage Dude. and she's like who gave my son a pop tart once she found out that like I gave him a pop tart she was like you cannot hang out with them and the next day we hung out like it was not even a big deal <laughs> so that. we see where he gets his attitude from yeah seriously just like <laughs> oh, what no. are you talking about what happened yeah, I wasn't mad yeah uh, I wasn't screaming at your nine-year-old what are you talking about <laughs> 
And then the, the best part was like, so they left, they were only there for like a year and all this happened. Uh, the best thing though that went down, uh, well I guess maybe not the best actually now that I'm thinking about <laughs> the it. The worst. Uh, he was over at my house and we were hanging out and we were, I don't, it wasn't even a game, I don't know what we were playing, but we were, we had, there was a ball on in the yard and we were just picking up big rocks and throwing them at the ball. <laughs> just like, As you do. That was just the game we were playing, <laughs> I don't know why, but that was the game that we came up with and we're like, hey let's, let's try to pop the ball or like hit it and see if it shoots out and it was it was shooting out I'm like oh this is fun and so i picked up this fucking massive gargantuan rock like i'm fucking 10 and i'm just like holding this boulder yeah i'm like all right guys look out and cody was like oh what about this rock as i let go of it and he's like what about this rock and goes right into fucking oh, death no. zone and dude i fucking destroyed his school like i caved it in like oh, he didn't man. he wasn't dead but i mean like he was bleeding a lot like oh my god like it gashed his head open like it, i don't know it, it looked it might have been exaggerated because i was young but it, i feel like it broke his skull open Jeez. because he was bleeding profusely and he had to go to the hospital and stuff but like his mom already thought that we were assholes <laughs> right because, so after that event yeah so like we we went over there and his, her son's fucking about to die and we're like, hey, so like, <laughs> this thing call, happened. Call, your son's like dying. And <laughs> How do like, you? what the fuck happened? And I was like, well, I want to explain it, but to save time, I hit him with a rock. <laughs> like, I, it wasn't like that, but like, that I, was the worst way <laughs> yeah. you could have said well, that. Well, I was trying to be efficient with time because he was dying. Yeah. So I thought it'd be good to be like, I hit him with a rock. Let's take him to the hospital. I'll explain it later. But then she was like, oh my gosh, like, you fucking, you always punk my son. You guys are so, like, I was Ashton Kutcher. Right, like you yeah. guys always do this. You just got punked. Punking my son and being assholes and always bullying him. I was like, you think this is me bullying your son? Has, yeah. a, has a fucking attention problem. And I said, don't go in front of the rock. And he's like, oh, there's a squirrel. And like, <laughs> he, yeah, it's just like a fucking a dog running in front of a truck. Like, that was his fault. I didn't do that. Yeah. Like, what do you want from me? And like, I'm sorry, your son is retarded. And I came to school. And, but... I like how she thought that you throwing a rock that would have was, killed was him was him? bullying and I punking. Like, not like, like attempted That's murder. not bullying or punking. Like that's a you know that that's a little bit more extreme than that. I feel like just a little, just a tiny bit, just a slight yeah. amount. Yeah. But yeah, so they moved away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching that video of the Diggy Dine Show. I hope you enjoyed the stories and the gameplay. Um, yeah, hit that like button if you liked it. Comment below. Let us know what you would like to see in the future, and subscribe, of course, to see more videos. Thank you so much. We Woo! love you. We appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah. See you guys next time.